Hello. So, um, I've not done anything like this before, like a kind of a vlog kind of thing like this before, so bear with me. But um, I have a two hour lunch break today, um, an extended lunch break. Um, so I'm going to take Annie, little Annie, for a walk. Um, not in that direction, but in that direction behind the house. And we're going to go down some lanes, some country lanes. Um, and then when I come back, um, I'm going to give us some lunch, some bonios, and then I'm going to show you guys some of my jewellery bits and pieces, which I already have listed on eBay. Um, because I haven't shown those on a video yet, only things I need to list. So I'll show you some some bits which I've already listed on eBay. So the next thing you'll see is me getting Annie ready um, to go on a walk. Hello. Hello. That is Daddy's footstool, and you've um, stolen it as a bed. Um, that's your bed, but you've stolen our footstool. But um, Annie, you ready to go on a walk? You ready to go on a walk? Yeah? You wanna go on a walk? Sit. No? Stretch. Well, oh, right. Let Daddy put his shoes on and we go for a walk. Right, I've not really thought this through because Annie does pull. So I don't know whether I'm going to be able to film while walking here, but we'll we'll give her a go. Um, because we're going to go down some lanes, some country lanes. Yeah, we'll be going shortly um, because she um, she's not allowed off the lead down these lanes. So... Um, we'll see if we can cope. sleeping on my footstool she had a good uh, walk shame it wasn't off lead because that's when she really gets good exercise when she runs about because she needs lots of run like running around dalmatians have lots of like um mental and physical um needs basically <laughs> um but she is sleeping it was good enough for her for today but um she's going to doggy daycare tomorrow because it's thursday um, so she'll have a proper good run tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show you now some items which are already on eBay. Um, so if you do fancy them or are interested in anything I show you now, um, you can either purchase this through eBay um, or you can give me a shout on my Instagram, which I'll put the links to my Instagram and links to my eBay underneath this video. Um, and I'll also put my email there as well if you don't have Instagram. Um, but yeah, also I'll put Annie's, um, Annie's Instagram, because Annie, of course, has her own Instagram account. I'll put her Instagram account link below as well. Um, so some of these items, or I say two of these items, are mine. So I'll show those first. So these weren't bought in a job lot or anything. These are just old things. So first off is Lacoste in the box um, it's a watch 
and then I had it three or four years ago, um, and then I had the Fitbit, so then I had no, no, no longer wanted this because I had the Fitbit, and then after the Fitbit I had an Apple Watch, so now I'm on the Apple Watch, so I need to sell my Fitbit now as well, um, I need to find it, I'm not sure where it is, um, but yeah, this is a lovely green faced Lacoste watch um, with a leather strap. And it is authentic because it was bought from Argos, I think. Um, but yeah, it's still got tags and things. Um, I think I paid like nearly £200 for it. Um, and I think I've got it up for 70 on eBay um, with offers. Um, yeah. And it's in pretty good condition considering I've had it three, four years. But yeah, so there's that. Other item, which is mine, is this. I was gifted this um, for my birthday three years ago, HM Samuel, um, obviously well known jewellers. Um, but I never actually used it. Um, but yeah, it's real diamonds. Um, I don't think it's silver because I don't think it's Hallmark or anything like that from where I remember. But the cufflinks with diamonds and a tie pin clip. So from what I remember, I think they're just diamonds with like stainless steel. I'm not sure. They may even be silver. I can't remember. I need to test them. But I have got actually. I have got it listed, so I must have tested it. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. But I'll double check because it is listed on eBay. Like I said, all these are listed. Um, but there are some marks on some of these things. Um, some of these things. Um, on the cufflinks and see there, I don't know if you can see. So I think it is silver, but I would have, see there's markings on them. So I might even scrap these, I don't know, because they're real diamonds. Um, but yeah, I can't remember if they're silver or not, but I'll have to double check on eBay. Um, but I would have tested them, I wouldn't have put them on saying unknown so I would have would have tested them. Oh I can't put get that back on so I'll just do that after the video. But um yeah I never got a chance to wear them. Shame that they got to that state. Um but I'm sure they can be cleaned up. But yeah so those two items are mine. Everything else I bought in job lots. Um so let's start with this one. So this is Sarah Coventry, um, I believe. Um, I don't know if she has anywhere else to see that. Yeah, Sarah Coventry. Um, and it's got some lovely abalone in it. I'm um, sorry about these. I've been going to the gym and um, the weights are like really heavy. <laughs> um, I've been having blisters. So apologies for the state of my hands. <laughs> But um, yeah, I don't think this was gold, I would have tested it, um, but yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, some abalone. It is a little bit weak there, because um, if you look closely, you can see that it, it looks like it's a bit weak, but um, I've advertised that. I'm not sure if it has snapped and has been soldered back, I'm not sure, because you can see the line um, just there. So I'm not sure if it's just been bent and then pushed back to shape or whether it's been um, soldered back together, I'm not sure. But I have listed it and took a photo and mentioned it in the in the thing as well. Um, but yeah, so the next item is, I, I thought these are pretty cool. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to do a video without saying pretty cool. Ah, oh, damn. But yeah. These were unusual, I thought. They're obviously not from Egyptian times, but um, they're Egyptian style. They're probably aluminium. They're pretty light. Um, but yeah, the stud earrings. Not anything special, but I thought they were funky. Somebody will have them. Um, this and another few other necklaces that aren't special and um, they're not by any special designers they're not special metals but i just thought they were unique unusual so i like that one um 
I just thought that they were, they did appeal to somebody. I don't know who, but somebody. <laughs> but, yeah, there's that one. And there's this one as well. It's kind of like an Art Deco stylus one. But they're probably for, from somewhere like New York, I don't know. But they're not on my shop for much anyway. Um, a few quid, I think. And this one as well I thought was cool. Um, it's very like punk. But yeah, it's a statement piece, right? What do you call that a statement piece? It's nice. Ooh, not the camera, sorry. Still learning, guys. <laughs> um, I have some Baruch pearls. Um, so I believe there's a necklace. There's a clasp. Um, I can't remember what they call these clasps, but yeah. Um, I can't remember how to do them. I did find out how to do them. I think you've got like. I can't remember, but yeah, there's a, the bracelet to go with it, there's the necklace and the bracelet. Um, but yeah, so they're nice, Baroque pearls, and they are real. This is an exquisite brooch, um, the gold colour is coming off slightly around the edges, I don't know if you can see, I'm not sure what the stones are, um, but I thought that was nice, and apparently, um, there's the, there's, where is it, I saw it just now, oh, you can't see it, but it's there, it says exquisite, exquisite, no, it's not for focus, but, um, yeah, apparently there, some of, certain of the, certain ones of those brooch, brooches, like flowers of the month or something, or brooches of the month, I think they do go for some quite a bit, but um, yeah, I don't think I've got that on that much because it is kind of damaged, but it may be fixable. Um, I don't know what these crafters can do these days. Um, this has been on since Christmas, I think, but I, I think I put it on too late, um, because I think I put it on like mid Christmas. It's nothing special, it's not made by anybody special either, but this is cute. It's a little reindeer, Rudolph to be specific. Um, but yeah, I think it's head moves, yeah, it's head and body moves. I thought that was nice, um, but I didn't get it on there ready for, um, for Christmas in time. But... Maybe next year. Um, some coal port, fine bone china. I think I paid two pounds for this. I'm not sure if I bit overpaid or not. I don't know. But um, these norm these brooches normally are battered, like broken, chipped. Um, I've never actually seen one with with no like faults to it. So, I was, that, so that's why I bought it and why I paid £2 for it. But there's no chips on this at all. I've looked everywhere, like all around on every leaf, every petal. No chips at all. But um, yeah, it's very nice. And it says on the back, Coalport, China, made in England. That's all it says. And you can see the fingerprints as well on the actual, like, where they've created the leaves. Um, I'm not sure, yeah, you see them? So they they are handmade. I'll pop this off there, it's in the box. Um, this one was in a job lot as well. This is two stud silver earrings with cubic zirconia, I think. Um, with squaw, squaw I can't, I can never say this word, Swarf, Swarfsky, is that how you say Swarfsky? Um, elements. I don't know what they mean by elements, but um, yeah, I don't actually. I think they are crystals, or um, from what I remember, they're not um, cubic zirconia. I don't think. 
No, they're not cubic zirconia. I think they are crystals. I did do my research, but it was some time ago. But yeah, I cleaned the silver up on them because they were tarnished a bit. So I um, polished them with my silver polish. Um, what's the word? Cloth. Silver polishing cloth. That's it. Um, so yeah, so it says certificate of authenticity. This is certified that all stud and drop urines are made with Swarovski elements, whatever that means, as well as the finest crystal from around the world. So yeah, so it's crystal. Um, all urines are made with sterling silver ear wires. Um, Byzantium Collection, London. But yeah, they are on my thing on my eBay as well, um, and. This one is a Hollywood brooch. I think it's Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood, signed at the back. Um, looks like a banana a bit, but I think it's a leaf. Um, this is very nice, I like it. Um, it's quite heavy for a brooch, anyway. It's heavier than the other brooch. This one. Yeah, much heavier. Um, so I don't know what material it is, uh, but it's very nice. Um, these two badges, I think, were my granddad's, I think. Um, yeah, because he was a chairman of a, of a club. Um, but I just put them on. I think I put them on with a job lot of, like, um, pins and badges. Um, it's it, it's um, quite old, like, 70s, 80s, maybe. That's old to me. Um, this one is my granddad's as well. Um, Bowling Association. So this is in the 80s, 1980 centenary. And then it says on the back, G.A. Miller, Sydney. That's probably the makers, I'm not sure. This one was my dad's, so the specials. He actually loves the specials, um, but he gave this to me. Oh, well, I asked for it um, ages ago, years ago. Um, I quite like this one, so I'm reluctant in selling this one. But um, if somebody wants it, then they'll buy it, won't they? And then I'll just have to go. But yeah, he absolutely loves specials. I love specials as well. I love Madness, all those kind of um, ska music, um, reggae ska music. Um, we're actually going to, well, he doesn't know yet. Um, but I've booked already for us to go and see Madness in Cardiff Castle in June. So I've booked it for him for Father's Day. So he's going to love that. But yeah, there's that. And I think I found this one in a job lot. It's a Scottish person with bagpipes. Um, and he's not looking too good, to be fair. <laughs> he needs a little bit of uh, doing up. Some of his enamel's coming off. There's no maker or anything on it. But again, I, that's on eBay, but I don't think it's on there for that much. Um, and then I've got three other things, but they're job lots. So one is a job lot of single earrings. Have a quick look. I'm not going to get them out, but just pop a photo on eBay if you want to have a look at them. And then the other two are pendant lots. Different sizes, different shapes. There's a Harry Potter one there. Ravenclaw. And the glass one. Which apparently, if you get a collection of glass ones, they sell for a decent amount, apparently. And then this one is also pendant. I quite like that one with the wire wrapped around it. There's a glass one there again. Um, but that, believe it or not, is a dinosaur. <laughs> Some heart. I think that one, that pendant, says. Elizabeth on it. So Elizabeth, 
if you're watching you might want to buy this job lot <laughs> have your own necklace there's a few hearts in this one there's one two three four five and put five hearts in there Six. but yeah so yeah thank you for joining us on our walk this morning um and thank you for having a look at these few items i've got on ebay already um i haven't got that much jewelry on ebay yet to be fair i have lots of job lots like um crafters lots broken lots um so they're the same thing really Bro broken slash crafters lots and i have some resellable stuff as well um things which you may have seen in in my other videos um, i have a few of those boxes um so i have some which are one kilos which i think are 9.99 and then i think that's plus postage so the one kilos are 9.99 with postage on top and then I think the two kilogram lots, I think, are either 15 or 16, I can't remember, um, with free postage. Um, so, yeah. Basically, the same price, aren't they, really? 9 for one kilo. Or, well, 9 plus... Say five pound, I think it is postage, um, because I do for, I do second class, signed for, um, which I think is about four pound eighty five. So say that's roughly fifteen pound for one one kilo, or is like fifteen or sixteen pound for two. It's just one is with postage, and one is without postage, but both work out the same. So it's totally up to you if you want two kilos or one kilo, isn't it? But um. I've only just realised that it's more or less the same. So that wasn't really a good move, was it? So I may change them all to two kilo lots um, and not have the one kilo lots. I'm not sure. I need to decide, but that I'm, it's not going to be anytime soon. I'm going to change that. But um, I have more jewellery um, not listed than listed. <laughs> oh, two seconds. I need to go and get something because I just thought... This was adorable. Um, I bought it from Charity Shop the other day. I may have overpaid, but I like them. Um, two seconds, literally, I'm not even going to pause because it's in my sight. Okay. So these are salt and pepper shakers. Um, I think they're from the either 60s or 70s. Um, I did my research as soon as I got home, um, but I didn't list them. I haven't listed them yet, but I've done my research on them. So there's Mickey Mouse, Disney, um, copyright. Even got their stoppers, stickers on the bottom saying Japan. That one's slightly coming off, but um, yeah. So I may have overpaid, so I paid £5, um, which is £2.50 each, um, but... I think I may be able to like triple that, maybe like fifteen pound, um, and then probably charge postage on top because I don't really put free postage on things, um, I normally put postage on top. But yes, um, I just wanted to show you these because they 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 are adorable. There's um Mickey making a salad and some salt and pepper in his lettuce and tomatoes. So, yeah, thanks for watching and. I don't know when I'm going to do another video. I just do them as and when, really. So just keep an eye out. Please subscribe. Please check out Annie's Instagram. And check out even my own Instagram. I put, um, like, an eBay Instagram. Reseller Instagram. I'll put all the links down below. And please do check out my eBay. Because there's lots of other stuff on there. I think I have about 400 items on in my shop. Um, nothing of high value, really. Um average price i'd probably say is about 10 pound probably um there's lots of dvds on there as well um cheap dvds like three pound two pound three pound um but yeah there's 400 items on there so go and check it out bye